so the flat line, right? Check out this hit fire, and I'm I'm pretty far away, right? That's one clip from this far. Let's check fire. Now to even make that more nasty, when you start firing, you can snap in and then let it go. Even though I fucked up, not one clipping them. But you get my point, because I do this all the time to people. You can snap in, let it go. Look at that. You don't need to stay snapped in. Especially with this flat line here. That's that's why it's like kind of nasty. You see that? Like, did, did you see that? Did you see what the flat line does? Not snapped in no more. I just snapped in for like a split second. And then just let the hip fire do the rest of the work. And that was a one mag. There's no reason to be at this range and try to stay hard scope when you have people moving left or right. But it's easier to control recoil or to track enemies when you're not ADSing. When you're ADSing, it goes a little slower, unless you're just nice like that. But your your recoil, or not your recoil, but your your tracking. Damn son, where'd you find this one? Yeah, you can follow enemies so much better with your crosshairs when you hip fire versus trying to do it when they zoom in, especially if they sliding and jumping. You feel me? So just make sure you remember that and, and start playing around with the hip fire for every single weapon, guys. Like a lot of people, that's that's part of the difference between people who are good and people who aren't in this game is understanding. And this is why I'm always trying to have close range fights because a lot of people don't know this. The hip fire on these guns is, you know, some of them have differences, but it's, it's very accurate, bro. It's so accurate versus trying to do this shit right here when you got people that are like moving and moving and everything. You know what I mean? Like, the, remember, the object is to shoot, damage your opponent without taking damage. To do that, sometimes you got to kill them as fast as possible. So if you get to this range and you're trying to do this number right here, you're wrong. Unless they're standing completely still, you are so wrong. You are wrong. <laughs> If need be, you want to snap in and then let it go. If they're strafing, you want to snap in, let it go. Get get some thumb control and learn how to beam the people that you in these lobbies with. Learn how they're going to move. Learn how they're going to strafe. Learn when they're going to crouch. Throw in the crouch yourself. You know your recoil actually gets more accurate when you crouch. You see how the gun turns to the left? Look at this. Some people don't even understand that. When you throw in a crouch, oh my God, look at that. And the flat line is just, is just nasty doing that, it's cheap. So imagine being at this distance, snapping in, letting go, throwing in some crouches there so they can't keep a line on you when they're trying to aim up top. Bro, you will be beaming people. You will be beaming people. And then you just gotta fine tune it, get some experience to get like really good. And a technique like that, you can't do a technique like that if the entire game, you're trying to have all of your fights from this far and you're trying to one cut people from this distance. Look how much ammo you're wasting. Look how inaccurate you are. Like, unless you're a certified beamer, I mean, you can with your teammates, everybody. Aim at this guy right here, shoot him. Oh no, I'm missing some bullets. Oh my God, it's so hard to control and they're moving. Oh no, my aim assist isn't working. Now granted, when you get good, you know, you can definitely, you know, one clip. Oh, well, I hit, I was about to one clip him. Y'all believe me. I was about to one clip that guy. I really was. But you know, you, you'll be able to beam from that far and you can have most of your fights from, you know, that long range distance. Don't get me wrong. But then if you're not that good, guess what you're gonna be doing every time? You're gonna be like, man, I need more ammo. Oh, I'm a chicken with his head cut off. No, I need some more ammo. Oh, we killed him so far away, but we got to go get the loot. Oh, like, yo, get, get used to them close range engagements. Get used to them close range engagements, guys. Seriously, get, get used to hip fire. Get used to slide jumping. Get used to, to knowing how to like work angles. 
You know, like work little angles where you can straight back and cover, peak shooting. Like you can do that all day, man. <laughs> As long as they don't get time to shoot you when you catch them out in the open, there's no reason to just run out and be like, oh, oh. you just, you just got to pick the right spots. You just got to learn how to use cover, knowing how to slide and jump, you know, stopping, taking a pause. Like, yo, I'm going to use this little stanchion right here. And then I'm going to chain gangles on them. Oh, they still think I'm right here. I'm going to go ahead and slide, jump off of cover and hip fire and finish his ass. Once he's on the ground, crawling around, begging for mercy, I'ma thirst him. And then I'ma loot his box real quick. I'ma shield swap. Then I'ma come over here, use this cover. And then I'ma kill his teammate. He still thinks I'm here. Guess what, motherfucker? I done jumped up and came behind to him. Oh! <laughs> Y'all gotta get nasty, man. You gotta get creative with your movement, man. You gotta play fine head glitches. Oh my god, I can't tell you how many people I be fucking up just from finding head glitches like like right right here. Like how much could he really shoot me? I see his whole fucking head. I wonder if he got a shot on me from there. Note it. Like let's really see. If I'm just right there, how good is your accurate to beam my head unless you got a semi automatic? I was like right there. Like you gotta have some fine twin aim to beam me from right there when you can only see like a like a top portion of my head unless you got like a 30 30 or g7 right here if i'm head glitching you i got a whole body over here man look at that i'm i see enough of you i see enough of you to light your ass up <laughs> play the head glitch game abuse it but you gotta find it there's no there's no book out there there ain't shit out there that's gonna be like, use this spot when you're in this area. And then use this spot when you're in this area. And this spot, this spot, this spot. There'll be some. But but you but you gotta find this shit. Damn, son, where'd you find this one? I, I can hear it already. So uh But yeah, 